Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Panzer Dragoon 2 Zwei, released on Saturn by Sega in 1996. It is actually a prequel to the first game. It was developed by Team Andromeda, which is an in-house developer at Sega. Now, basically, Jean-Luc Lundy, that's you, lives in a village and is superstitious and they hunt these mutant couliers, which is these dragons. But you find one and I guess you are allowed to keep it and you bring it up. And that's it. It's an on-rail shooter where it differs for the first game is there are multiple branches. It received really good reviews apart from the fact that it was considered to be a little too easy. Right, let's get into it. I'm actually going to start on level two. Why? Well, why not? It's my game. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so this is stage two. Why did I start on stage two? Because the first stage is just kind of a, well, I wouldn't even say a tutorial, like that. more of a, a setup. It's considered a level, and a lock on, but yeah, it just sets up the story. Basically, you and your dragon take out a ship above um, your village called, what is it called? A very stupid name, Shelkoof, and that's revenge, the bad guys. AI something, destroy your village. And then your dragon's throat grow, glows green. Yep, yeah, seriously. And um, yeah, I guess it's a mission of revenge. Now, this was considered to have absolutely amazing visuals for the Saturn back in the day, which it does. Obviously, early 3D does not age well, but it still looks amazing to me. And, oh, the sound is fantastic. The music is fantastic. Are you on my side or not? No, I guess you're not. Right. But this is what I mean by branching paths. Look, see, you can you can go either way. You couldn't really do that in the first one. Whether it makes a big difference, I think you've got to pick it in time, though. I'm not really sure, because like I said, it was considered to be a tad easy. Now, your shoulder buttons turn you around, because if you look at your radar on the top right, that's where your enemy's coming from. You've got your standard, I don't know, I was going to say laser, but is that me firing? That's me firing, not my dragon. you just dragging, you haven't even got fire. More like Pete Dragon. Right, and then if you hold it down, you've got your locking receptacle. Because you've got missiles. I don't think they run out. I don't know. The music is fantastic. Now, this is quite an expensive game in power regions, but I bought the Japanese one. If you have a Saturn, and you just get an action replay card, you mean preferably mod it. I haven't, because I'm lazy. But. Um, import Japanese games. They're not all super cheap, but the majority of them are. So this cost me a fiver. I don't know what it is in Powerland, but it's a lot more than that. Now, if you press X or Y, or Y or Z, um, <clears throat> you go absolutely batshit crazy with your missiles. It's like a super power weapon. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to waste it, but then I don't know if you can actually run out. Right, so turn around. I think it looks lovely. We are overdue for a new Hansa Dragoon game. I, I know we had also, but that was 16 years ago. Maybe more. And it's a great game. I've got a gameplay of that, and I've got a gameplay of the original Saturn Panzer Dragoon hidden within it, which if you've got a modded Xbox, you can actually just browse and unlock without having to complete the game, which is a nice touch. Right. Oh, okay. I think it's basically blast your way into the fort, but yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, these games were overdue for it. I'm sure there's a market for it, but then let's be honest, Sega doesn't really listen to its fans anymore, does it? And if they do, get a fanboy team to make it, like you did for Sonic Mania. Because let's be honest, Sega, when it comes to you looking after your IPs, more often than not, cough, I'm looking at loads and loads and loads of Sonic games, you just balls them up. Now, this is impressive. Look how much shit is on the screen at once. Really impressive. I'm surprised they haven't sold the rights to try and make a movie that someone can fuck up as well. Right. Get some of that in your life. So it's a mixture of tech and creatures, isn't it? Basically, it's steampunk y ish. Steampunk y ish? That's a t shirt right there. 
Uh, like I said, the reason I started on this level is the first level is there's so much stuff you can't destroy and it's just setting up the premise and then there's a cutscene. But the giveaway that you can't destroy something is hold down your lock on button and if you can't lock on to it, it's just there to tell you the story. Oh shit. Presuming that's my health bottom left, is that my weapon gauge above it? I don't know. There we go, get some of that. You can lock onto the same target if it takes multiple hits more than once by doing that and then hold it down and it goes red for multiple hits or something. I don't know. Looks lovely. I know it's got that pixelated early 3D effect, but there is something really nice about the art design. I mean, as always, if you had this or had the first one, uh, or unlocked it on altar, I. Oh, they were a bit puppy, weren't they? Love to know what you think. It's a guilty pleasure. I mean, I like on rail shooters. I mean, it's a way of putting better graphics into a game because you're restricting the movement of the individual character, which I guess is less demanding on the hardware. Can I shoot this dude? Oh, shit. I'm gonna. That's a nice smoke effect. That's a very nice smoke effect. I'm assuming you're a boss? I don't know. Ooh. Right, let's press the magic mental button. There you go. It's like Last Starfighter. If you're not old like me, you won't have seen that film, so you probably won't have a word. I understand what word I just said there. So now this is a boss then. Cool. That can't be this, how long the level is, surely. Basically, well, it's a Thunderblade boss, isn't it, potentially? Just shoot everything until there's nothing left. Oh. There we go. Get some of that in your life. Because I'm a fucking sexy dragoon. You bastards. Fuck it. Oh, you can run out of those. We live, we learn. Can I shoot their projectiles? I'm hoping so. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Yeah, I can. Oh! I'm sure when I played the original one, the first level was Mackie Long. Sorry, that's an awfully Bristolian word, I do apologise. But hey, it's one of my favourite words. Mackie, or Mackie if you're posh. What does Vi mean too anyway? So why is it called Panzer Dragoon 2 Vi? I'm just picking airs, you know that. Yoink. Ooh! My health's taking a bit of a pummeling, isn't it? So is his battle station? I don't know, would I call it a battle station? Or a fuck off big medieval building set in a semi-distant future past alternative steampunk world. That kind of got away from me. Boom! Boom! Oh, he's gone! He's gone! Good night, Irene. Was that the boss? Either that, I've just fucked up an innocent piece of real estate. Is that someone coming in? I couldn't see. Right. Why is it making Star Trek phasing noises? Well, there you go. Oh, hang on. The party's still going on. That was mid-stage. Oh, I was just going to say, otherwise this game would be stupidly short. Who's shooting the green shit? They are my... Do I even have mates in this? Some of that in your life. I forget how comfortable and tasty and delicious the original Saturn pad is. Boy, this is really going to screw up my lungs. Oh, well there you go, I'm assuming. Really? He's going to get TB now, isn't he? Well, I'm going to call it quits there. Just wanted to do a really quick gameplay of Panzer Dragoon 2 Spy on the Sega Saturn. Or, 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 shall I stick around for the boss fights? Yeah, let's stick around for the boss fights. Look at his health. Get some of that in your face. There is a tinsy wincy bit of slowdown, but to be fair, we'll let it off. Oh, look at that! You're always a groundwalker! 
presumably there's certain specific things I need to shoot. You miss me, you dumb fuck. So do I guess have infinite rockets then? Not the super whammy go yellow screen metal rockets. Just the regular ones. Oh. That's a nice mechanic, but to my mind it seems that they either come... I mean, it's early days, I know, but they either come from the front or behind. He says. Ah. Yeah, got your leg. Going down. There you go. Seems to do the job, doesn't it? I believe that's what you call cooking on gas. This is still very... Maybe it's because I'm old, but I still find this pretty impressive graphics. I really am. No, you don't. No, you don't. I take back what I said about where they come from. shooting. Anywhere it locks on. Well, there you go. As always, I'd love to know what you think, but this is Panzer Dragoon 2 Zwei on the Sega Saturn. All in all, I know it's early days, but I have to say, I am really, really impressed with this. I think it looks absolutely Jim Dandy. Are you going to be a good boy and die or what? There you go. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.